So there are many resources out there to help improve your sex life. But have you ever thought about asking your grandparents for some advice? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Anyone who can keep the spark alive well into their later years has some wisdom to share. So let's take a look at four tips seniors shared with the Wall Street Journal, the hottest newspaper out there. <laughs> First up, spontaneity overrated. If your time differs from your partner's, schedule a time with any expectation could you read of it more read it more okay. with the music okay. yeah okay. use the music okay <clears throat> second take your time <laughs> maybe not you sound like an, an old black dj at a jazz radio station i'm sorry i'm sorry young people fixate on sexual performance while older people spend more time on the build-up rather than just racing to the finish line third accept then adapt. Accepting our bodies may be hard for some. Many seniors say, don't judge yourself or your partner. Instead, appreciate what your bodies can do together. And lastly, be active, not passive. Younger adults often have a you please me, I'll please you attitude to sex. Older people aren't passive. They are active in knowing what they want and ask for it. I How mean, do you think your grandma Marcella is thinking about it right I, now? Wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I can't. Erica, you, you take this one. <laughs> Kavi? You, you know that you're not supposed to come to me when it comes to sex. I don't know how to behave on live television. Okay? Hey, listen. She gets in some trouble, some trouble sometimes. Yeah. That, I, first of all, I, I think that was great. I think that was great advice. And I love taking people, uh, taking advice from older people because they don't have to, they, they are completely honest and open with everything that worked for them in their life and what did not work for them in their life. And I think when you're in, in the, like in the early or middle of it, you, you just can't see it. But when you have some perspective, be like, ah, oh, I shouldn't have done that I shouldn't have said that I should have done that I think it really it makes you a good advice giver so I do listen to the I didn't folks. know I didn't realize how like the ranty, senior living homes very ranty mm. how much they Sexually were actually free getting after it yes I didn't know that until we started doing stories yeah. about that good for good for, good them. for the seniors exactly. yeah and I'm using contraceptives as well at that age I would say <laughs> the no, hell with it. No, but no. I guess they're safe they're safe they yeah. are something safe. I have to learn and 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 I will also say like a good wine let it breathe and age, and that's when you really get the good advice. Am I right, everyone? Why? No. I don't know what tour is going, what's <laughs> happening, Erica. I'm saying you don't want to ask the youngins for advice. You want to ask something that's breathed and been sophisticated and understand and know what they want. Those people are good advice givers because they know. They know. Right. You have to have the experience to really, I mean, I think that's a, a big mistake a lot of us make is we'll ask people for advice who have never been in the situation or have any point of reference. And it's like, yeah, of course, you want to go to someone who's more experienced to get the sage wisdom. And if they're still getting it on and popping after all these years, like we could all learn something from mm -hmm. that. I am open to hearing, is not it, speaking. Is this something the older generation is like? They want? I hope if you if you Probably. are out there and you're comfortable, please write us on YouTube if you feel like we're bringing up good points and but if you have like, any others. Hello, let me help you with that cart. Also, yeah. me and my wife are having some problems in the bedroom. <laughs> I, think, so I think if you have like an older barber or somebody or a hairstylist, just somebody that's familiar with you sure. or maybe has a little distance, yeah. that'd be good. It's so interesting. I ask my super, my young kids for tech advice, which I don't think anybody does. People ask 30 year olds, ask a 12 year old. They yeah, know they way know. more than any 30 year old has been to MIT. <laughs> Way more. <laughs> and in terms of sex advice, we asked 30 and 40 year olds that went to MIT or Harvard, ask an 80 year old because mm -hmm. they are they have perspective and they don't need to lie to you and they don't need to flex their degree. That's They're right. They're just like, this is what it is. Like a fine wine.